Hello and welcome to the Wine Turtle YouTube channel. My name's Jamie and I'll be your host as we taste and review popular wines from around the world and explore the grapes and the winemaking techniques that make them special. If you've not been here before, please consider subscribing. It only takes a second and it would help the channel out enormously. Right, so today we have a rather popular Apothic Cabernet Sauvignon. It's actually called Apothic Cab. So this costs $10 and it's 13.5% ABV. It comes from California and the label mentions an alluring twist on Cabernet Sauvignon. And the alluring twist is the addition of Zinfandel to the blend. So American winemaking law dictates that just 75% of the stated grape needs to be in the wine. So there could be as much as 25% Zinfandel. I doubt it, but they don't make any mention of it. So we'll see. What the Zinfandel will do though is maybe mellow the tannin slightly and make it a bit jammier, I think. Um, I'm expecting jammy fruits to be abundant here. And I think what they're trying to do is just make this a bit of a more crowd pleasing mass market wine with the Zinfandel. Hopefully it's not too sweet. So we'll find out, won't we? Let's get tasting. So we're expecting a big, bold, jammy wine here. So let's have a look. It certainly looks full bodied. It's a deep, dark wine, a deep ruby color. A little, very little opacity and thick, slow moving tears on the glass there. Okay, the oak influence is obvious, even though it's only had, uh, they say between two to four months in oak, and only a portion of the blend is oaked as well. But vanilla, straight off, big, uh, big vanilla notes, and the jammy Zinfandel influences there. A jammy blackberry, blackcurrant, plum, black cherry, yeah, like a, a Black Forest Gatto. It's uh, fairly, uh, yeah, sweet smelling. I'll be interested to see how, how sweet this is. It's a nice nose, it, it really is. Um, yeah, it just, it's, it's intense. It just, uh, yeah, hardly need to swirl this at all. It's just, yeah, popping with jammy fruit and vanilla. Right, let's go in for a taste. Mm. Okay. So it starts with vanilla. And then spice comes in midway through and it ends with that, that peppery spice. And a long finish, really long finish. It's jammy for sure. Um, not as sweet as I thought it might be. It is a little sweet, but it's not, um, not as sweet as the nose might lead you to believe. Yeah, jammy fruit, dish of the day here. Blackberry, black cherry, plum. A little bit of a, a lighter red fruit strawberry there. Um, medium tannins. The tannins, I thought they might be a little bit mellower than that, but medium tannin. Um, quite smooth, quite, 
quite nicely, nicely done though, well integrated. And uh, I like the acidity. Honestly, quite, quite pleasant. It's, it's better than I thought this might have been um, for a ten dollar cab. Mixed with Zinfandel, you expect it to be um, a bit sweeter, actually. To be honest, um, it's okay. Yeah, not bad at all. So, what about the score? Well, they call this an alluring twist on Cabernet Sauvignon, and it is just that. I mean, th this isn't cab as you know it. It's not your typical cab at all. There's obviously something up with it, and it's the addition of Zinfandel grapes. They just tone everything down a little, make it a little bit, uh, a little bit more crowd pleasing, if you will. The tannins are mellowed a little. They up the jammy fruitness. Um, it's a little bit sweet as well, but not overly so. I, I think they get away with it. Um, but yeah, this isn't your typical Cabernet Sauvignon by any means. It's big and bold like Cab, but um, just a little bit toned down. Um, so what you have is quite a pleasant wine to sit and sip in front of the TV. Um, if you're going to pair it with food, it would be similarly bold food, some red meat, um, some barbecue would go down a treat. But yeah, better than I was expecting. So a score, well, I think I'll go seven out of 10. It's big and bold, no subtlety whatsoever. Uh, you know, but it's enjoyable. It's a $10 wine. Um, yeah, it's, it's a good $10 wine, you know? It's really good value. Um, don't buy this if you're expecting a, your typical Cabernet Sauvignon. It is not that, but it's, it is an interesting twist. And seven out of 10 is what I'll score. It's a good score. So until next time, see ya.